Hey everybody, Steve with Flowchecker here. I wanted to show you this indicator that I came across that will help you visualize the volume as it's occurring in real time. It's a simple Think script that we can add onto our Thinkorswim trading platform and it will break out the percentage of buying volume versus the selling volume. But first, a quick plug for our site, Flowchecker, just type in your favorite stock and you can easily compare the float and short interest and outstanding shares across several popular financial websites all in one easy search so check that out when you get a chance now as an active trader I'm always interested in finding information about volume and I was watching a webcast on the TD Ameritrade channel in fact I'll bring that up and in this video this is from March of 2021 in this video, uh, Pat presented this indicator, the instructor, and he did a good job of explaining how within any given candle, not all volume is equal. You're going to have transactions, stock sales, that are occurring as the price is moving up on the so-called uptick, and you'll also have transactions that are occurring as the stock price is moving down on the downtick. Now that's depicted here on the right hand side of my screen this is the time and sales window and you can see that flashing from green to red well as it flashes green it shows the stock price is moving up it flashes red the stock price is moving down the way the indicator works if you follow my cursor if you look at this indicator here there's this, on the y-axis this is a scale from 0 to 100 that represents the percentage of buying volume so the volume that's occurring as the stock price is moving up Right now, we're currently looking at the stock in TRB that's seeing some volume today. And at the moment, it's showing, well, it's, as you'll see, it, it fluctuates. But as it moves down here, so 10% of what's going on in this candle is buying volume. That means 90% would be selling volume that's occurring. And it, it will move up and down this scale as the day progresses. Now, Again, now we're back up to 75% buying volume. That means 25% will be selling volume. So you'll see these shaded areas here at 90% to 100, there's a shaded green area. And from zero to 10%, there's a shaded red area. So the green area would represent uh, where the stock might be considered overbought and be ready for a reversal. Whereas if the selling volume is, or sorry, if the buying volume is below 10%, uh, that means that means a 90% or more is going to be selling volume and we again could be due for a reversal um, I took the script and edited it a bit I added these labels to the left hand side you can see total volume for the day we've got the current buying volume and percentage as well as current selling volume and percentage I broke those out numerically so you can see those a little bit more easily um, it's very easy to install we'll go up to our studies beaker here and you can see I've got it already in place. I'll go ahead and remove it. And we'll hit apply. So it's no longer there. Now to create the script, we'll hit the create button. And I will have a link in the description to where you can get this script and copy and paste it, which I'll do here. We'll head back into our window. You want to go ahead and remove this default text. We can label the study. We'll label it um, buy sell volume. We'll go ahead and right click inside that window, paste, press OK, apply, press OK, and there it is. Now, these labels you'll see flash back and forth from green to red. So if the buying volume is exceeding the selling volume, this label will be green. When it falls, buying volume falls below selling volume, it will turn red. And the sell volume label does the same thing. If you find that disorienting, it's very easy to just go back up to your studies. Beaker, you can click this icon just to the left of the name of the indicator. And we can edit. We scroll down to the bottom. We can edit out this if statement. We'll just remove that. And we'll do the same for buying. We want to have that color to be 
green. And we'll just go ahead and remove that if statement. Press apply. OK, apply. OK. And now these labels will be fixed. They won't flash back and forth in color. Um, I'm still experimenting with how I might be using this indicator. You know, I found it on the internet. Like most things, you have to do your own research and, and feel comfortable with it. I, it uses the same calculations as a prior video I did that breaks out the buying and selling volume within the actual candle. Now, it, it gives me a little bit more confidence that I found this on a TD Ameritrade YouTube channel, but you should experiment, experiment with it yourself, see if you're comfortable with it, and you can always just delete it if you don't like it. Um, so let us know in the comments how uh, you might be using this, and we'll uh, talk in the next one. Thanks.